Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about X2 interface. Just to note, X2 interface is not a mandatory interface. It is an optional interface and an interface between the E node Bs. So two E node Bs can connect to each other and they communicate to each other by using X2 interface. You, you may ask, what is the purpose of having X2 interface? The major purpose of X2 interface is supporting the user plane and the control plane communication between the E node Bs during the handover procedures. So this interface carries control plane information as well as user plane information. And for control plane, they typically use a protocol called as X2 AP protocol. However, for the user plane, they use GTPU, which is called a GPRS tunneling protocol user plane. So this by using this particular interface, two E node Bs can talk to each other related to one user's handover and can set up the resources, can reserve the resources and can communicate with each other. Once that handover has happened, the source E node B, which is this one, can actually transfer all the user data to the target E node B so that the target E node B can send it to the user. So you use the X2 AP protocols to communicate with each other to transfer the messages about the user and handover control commands. However, once the handover is completed, you can transfer the data of the user by using X2 AP protocol, X2 AP, uh, sorry, X2 interface, but GTPU protocol, right? So the signaling protocol for the control plane is called as X2 AP. However, there are scenarios where you may not have X2 interface. And in that case, you need to complete the handover by using S1 interface. In some upcoming videos, we are going to talk about S1 interface pretty much in detail. So all the packets buffered during the handover procedure can be forwarded from source E node B to target E node B just to avoid loss of any data, right? So handover should be lossless. And for that, source E node B is forwarding all those packets to the target E node B. That is the main purpose of X2 interface. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.